and especially matched with the red sunglasses. I thought that was so bougie, but I actually really liked this collection. I'm not gonna lie, it's really making me want to buy a Gucci Jackie bag. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Okay guys, so I'm sick today, so my voice is not as normal as or normal as it usually is actually it might more, be more pleasing to listen to because usually my voice is quite nasally but i cannot um i cannot deliver my usual voice today so anyways i, I just watched this morning the latest gucci runway show it was actually sabato de sarnos's first collection for Gucci and he is the new creative director. Now Alessandro Michele left Gucci and he was the creative director for the last few years and he really I feel resurrected Gucci. Uh, you know their sales went through the roof, released all these amazing bags like the Marmon and the Dionysus and I feel like people were obsessed with the Gucci Ace sneakers and the Gucci logo t-shirt, the GG belt, you know there were so many iconic pieces that I feel like elevated Gucci to the next level and you know the lines outside Gucci. The hype for Gucci back in like 2017, 2018 was massive. I was obsessed with Gucci as well, you know, I loved all the crystal embellished Dionysus bags with the cats and the moons and it was just so over the top. But now I feel like luxury is going in more of a classic direction and a lot more people are looking to invest in timeless classics, which I feel like is how this current collection is headed. There is a lot of focus on heritage pieces but it still has a bit of a fun twist and young flair to the collection. There were a lot of like leggy outfits, the models are super tall, very slender legs and the silhouettes were very like 60s vibe, a bit of late 90s as well and I don't know, I really actually enjoyed this runway show. It was very different to what we're used to seeing from Alessandra Michaela which is a bit more like one might say costumey and over the top. This collection was a lot more wearable. A lot of bags. I'm going to just mainly talk about the bags today because, you know, that's what I usually talk about on this channel. So the focus on the Gucci Jackie is really good for the brand because, you know, a lot of people were saying or kind of getting over Gucci because they thought oh, it was too trendy and, you know, the Gigi belt is over and, you know, all this. And when you think of Alessandra Michaela's Gucci, I do feel like it's very, like, 2017, 2018 era. But when you look at the Jackie bag, it almost doesn't really belong to a time. It's definitely uh, held a place in history. And though I think people would be more inclined. Well, I think Gucci is trying to convince people that this is not a bag that is going to go out of fashion. This is something that is part of our core collection. Uh, similarly, the bamboo top handle bag, bamboo 1947 bag, is another bag that was uh, in this runway show. And again, it has 1947 in the name, so it makes you feel like, you know, it's a heritage piece. It, it's something that you can invest your money in that will never go out of fashion. And the Gucci bamboo is also very iconic. So the was definitely a focus on these classic timeless bags and there has been a bit more of a tweak to the Gucci Jackie bag so you know last year we had the Gucci Jackie with the more cylinder clip uh, fastening but these updated Gucci Jackie bags actually have a uh, different kind of clip also he's created the Gucci Jackie bag in softer leathers whereas before they were more in these box calf leathers <clears throat> I noticed there was a big focus on patent leather as well and the main bag that really um, stood out to me was this patent leather Bordeaux color. I just think that is absolutely stunning. Now there was a lot of patent leather bags in this collection but I particularly love this one and I loved how a lot of the models had these really glossy lips as well and you know they tied in this patent leather with a lot of the ready to wear as well like you saw patent leather skirts, jackets, uh, patent leather shoes, like just amazing. Like I just am obsessed with this Bordeaux color and it's definitely giving me more of an old school vibe and I'm loving it guys. I think it's a little bit more mature but because it's paired with like you know little short shorts and very leggy outfits it makes it a little bit more fun. Now look at the way that this bag is styled with this jumper as well. Um, you know, they still have a little bit of that streetwear vibe, but they're kind of elevating it in a bit. And in a way, you know, the, the Gucci hoodie, it still says Gucci, but it's not as in your face as uh, the previous designs that we'd seen. It's more of a subtle branding. And there is less logos in this collection to 
I suppose what we're used to, there is a lot of use of the Gucci monogram and we do see the Gigi belt in some of the shorts, uh, which I think is nice because I think the Gigi logo that Alessandro Michele kind of uh, re redesigned or he kind of made big uh, is a real classic as well so it's good that they're still incorporating some of those recent uh, design elements as well and another bag which I noticed which was pretty cool is this new bag that it looks like it has a flap on the top and it opens and a lot of the models were carrying it like this and it has the Gigi Marmont logo on the top of the bag and I saw this bag again in the gorgeous Bordeaux colour and a black colour. I just thought it was a really interesting design, something I hadn't seen before. I think the branding as well is a little bit more subtle because instead of it being right on the front of the bag, they've actually put it on the top of the bag and they're kind of carrying it in this kind of cool way. And I just thought it was a really unique idea and I personally really love this bag uh, because it's just something different, you know. I haven't seen it before. And, you know, in fashion, when you see something different, you tend to like it for some reason. I don't know, I'm like that and then I get over it, but it's something a little bit different for Gucci. I'm now going back to the Jackie bags. There were a lot of crazy Jackie bags as well. So although I feel like this collection isn't as crazy, it's a little bit more pared back. There will there was there were still some over the top designs. So the Gucci Jackie with this like netting over it with the diamantes, I thought was quite interesting. Uh obviously I feel like the leather underneath would get fully scratched up from this, but yeah, it's just a more elevated runway bag, I suppose. Uh, I saw this bag in a few variations as well with the crystals. Here to the Gucci Jackie bag in some exotics as well. So we have the small size in a crocodile in the Bordeaux color, which is absolutely stunning. And there were a few like mini Jackie bags as well. So we have uh, just like a little ostrich bag here I thought was quite cute. So we're not done with the micro bags yet, guys. There has been a few on this runway. Also the python in the orange. I thought was quite nice and yeah a lot of exotics here so more elevated finishes there's not as much of the plain leather finishes it was either exotic python or crystals so yeah I think that kind of uh, definitely made an impact on their outfits because a lot of the outfits were quite monochromatic so it just gave it a little bit of something extra and I also noticed a lot of the models wearing these really thick chunky gold necklaces which I feel like is a thing that you could definitely pick up like you could definitely style anything with a thick chunky necklace like that you don't need to buy a gucci one but the gucci jackie in these striped designs with python uh so there was like a blue variation and then it was more of a like italian colors variation uh yeah so i've seen stuff like this before as well well guys i uh, this um neon green really came out of nowhere as well there was a few uh crazy outfits with this neon green color and there's this gorgeous little python uh jackie bag as well in neon green with a chain i also noticed these crazy platform shoes so it's the gucci horse bit loafer but with a platform now these platform shoes definitely took me back to like 2012 i don't know guys when galaxy leggings were cool and jeffrey campbell's you know i did have a few platform shoes like this because at the time they were trending and i wouldn't say that they're the most flattering shoes especially the platforms i do think that you have to I feel like, I mean, anyone could pull off anything if you have the confidence, but I feel like they look great if you have really long, skinny legs, but they can look a bit clunky, but yeah, obviously they look amazing on the runway. I suppose it's all inspired from like 70s platforms, I guess, and you know, uh, maybe even 60s, I don't know. But yeah, it's just a retro look, I guess. I don't know if these will be super popular because they don't look like the easiest to walk in. There's this other like interesting new baguette shaped bag with the uh, webbing uh, strap. So a few of the bags on the runway also had this webbing strap. This bag in particular, I thought was very pared down to what I usually see at Gucci. It has like a twist lock logo uh thing fastening and I was very curious by uh this bag here it's got the old school uh kind of monogram print with the brown trim and it's got a turn lock in the front it's actually very similar to the chanel 2.55 turn lock interesting there and, and on the sides it has that similar uh clasp that you saw on the updated gucci jackie bag and the webbing strap and this version this bag also comes in a cool tone version with the navy blue trim uh webbing strap so it's nice that gucci is offering two sorts of monogram a warm tone and a cool tone because you know not everybody suits 
certain colors and I know some people gravitate more towards cooler co tone colors and other people gravitate more towards warmer to tone colors so it's nice that Gucci is offering uh, a warm tone and a cool toned monogram because yeah I just think that different people will pick up I actually prefer the cool tone one myself but the green and the red webbing strap I actually really like it because it reminds me of like the Italian flag or like Christmas I don't know I just associate that more more with Gucci than the navy in the blue but yeah I don't know and also the yellow tone one is giving me more like vintage vibes there's also this bucket bag which has the similar clasp to the Jackie bag and again it comes in uh two sizes and I think it comes in both monograms as well so the cool tone monogram and the warm tone monogram um let me know what you think of these bags guys because um even the the flap style one comes with the clochette which I noticed had a monogramming on it so I think for like gifting or for Christmas this would be a great um idea for a friend or something because you can actually personalize the clochette well I wonder if this bag will be popular because it's really giving me like vintage vibes I definitely think you could pick up something like this for a fraction of the price but I understand not everybody is into vintage but it's definitely uh giving me that old school feel. Going back to the bamboo top handle bag it looks absolutely incredible in the patent leather the Bordeaux color but as you can see because it is patent it does get fingerprints quite easily but in any case I think it does look stunning especially with that skirt. Uh, there was also a smaller version in black patent with like a Gucci embossing on the front which I thought was quite cute as well. Oh guys I totally forgot to talk about this bubblegum patent leather Gucci Jackie bag. I just thought this color was like so random but I was loving it. I loved this color and I also loved the neon green color and the the Bordeaux color. I just think these colors are so amazing like honestly I just I just loved it, like the whole colour palette of this collection. There was a lot of creams as well, so how crazy is this Gucci Jackie bag with all the embellishments on it too? Wow, that is that is really over the top, but yeah, look at that. So anyways, um, I firstly would really like to buy the lipstick from this collection because I just love the high glossy shine of it, and especially matched with the red sunglasses, I thought that was so bougie but I actually really liked this collection I'm not gonna lie it's really making me want to buy a Gucci Jackie bag because I just loved especially like the patent leather Bordeaux one that was so stunning you can pick up a Gucci Jackie bag on the pre-love market I noticed that the clasps on the bag have changed a lot over the years they uh, had like at one stage they had more of a rectangle clasp and uh, recently they've done more of a cylinder one and now they've got like a clip clasp clasp but yeah I do think you can pick up something similar um, even on the website at the moment they've got mainly the cylinder clasp but it looks like going forward they're going to do more of this clip clasp. I'm getting a bit gross now so I'm going to stop talking but let me know what you thought of the new Gucci. Are you loving it or are you missing Alessandra Michaela's um, Gucci vibe? Uh, let me know and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!